Like I wanted to start with you first. You've always used humor and comedy as a way to connect with people. Why do you think this genre is the perfect way to bridge those connections? And what was it about Sebastian that resonated with you and will hopefully resonate with audiences? Um, well, I mean, in terms of uh, comedy, I think, you know, never has there been uh, a time where we need it more. It's pretty uh, bleak times at the moment. And I think everyone's in need of, uh, you know, that um distraction and to be able to lose themselves in a show like this um and so that's why I kind of always get drawn to to comedy and uh uh you know I think uh this show is really funny and and really uh gonna engage audiences um and in terms of the character like it was um just uh you know it felt like a really fun uh challenge to play a really kind of dastardly villain and uh it you know felt in the sort of same wheelhouse as maybe some of the parts that I've played before but then with this kind of added edge and these layers that are revealed in his own episode which I thought yeah. you know added this other uh kind of um aspect to it and um yeah I mean I was just really excited about the opportunity to get to play with all of these incredible actors and and with Lord and Miller who I've been a huge admirer of and so yeah it was a bit of a no-brainer when this project came along. Great answer. And Paul, throughout your career, you've always done a fantastic job grounding your characters. And while Travis, we play an after party, marches to his own beat and could be this over the top figure. It's his reason for being at the wedding and your portrayal of him that grounds his performance. How are you able to find that balance so seamlessly? And how did you incorporate his motivations throughout the series? Uh, thank you. Um, <clears throat> I, I think that I feel like Chris Miller and Phil Lord and that that team, the team behind the show, I feel like they they're good at making comedies that kind of have like heart and purpose and and sort of intricacy and, and reason. So I was very happy to find that in the scripted pages there was there there were layers and there were reasons behind stuff. I come from a world where sometimes I comedically sometimes I do something just to get a laugh you know a lot of the people I grew up watching like Chris Farley uh you know that that was kind of the thing it wasn't about depth uh always and um and I feel like Travis yeah the idea of wanting to safeguard someone you care about not mm -hmm. just to like win them back like the my best friend's wedding storyline but like trying to protect them somehow like that's that is grounded. That is nice. I do feel that way about people from my past um, where you, you still care about them and, and would like to see them succeed or be safe. So that was uh, that was a cool grounded element. And if I uh, if I did a good job, it's it's in huge part to the script and, and Chris and the folks kind of directing me in that in that way. You did a brilliant job with it. And Jack, like you were saying earlier, each character is the focal point of an episode. And that's often when a lot is revealed about their respective backstories. But we also learn a lot about who these people are through their interactions with each other. Which relationship played the biggest development and how you interpreted your own character? I mean, I think all of them brought, uh, you know, understanding to the, to the character. And I think it was such a wonderful thing that you know we had the opportunity over the course of the series and the 10 episodes to um like have these like moments of interaction with each of the different characters and I was lucky enough to start off uh the filming process with doing a few scenes with Paul and we had a huge amount of fun uh like playing opposite each other and then uh you know as uh the the kind of process progressed I was able to 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 have these little moments with each of them and I think uh, I would have felt a little bit robbed had I not had that. And I, I think that was, again, like, so great, you know, for for the for the writers, I'm sure, in the room, they were like, you know, with each of these characters, the minute we kind of, like, bring them into each other's orbit, then it can open up a whole different dynamic and, 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 yeah. and it kept it kind of, like, fresh over the course of that, like, that, that arc. Yeah, great answer. Paul, final question for you. What I love about this series is that each episode is told from a different character's perspective and a genre that reflects their personality. If you told your own story, what genre would it be in and why? Um, I mean, I in my head, I'm like ready to give some funny answer, but uh, to give a real answer, because you, you seem like a pretty serious journalist. You ask really uh, thoughtful questions. Um, uh, I'll say my life would definitely be a dramedy 
uh, in the vein of like a Silver Linings playbook, Little Miss Sunshine. Mm. Tears, laughter, problematic people, including myself, but uh, all trying to survive and find love 